Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gamer Trials, and today I'm bringing you guys a how to successfully Poke Gen or Poke Modify legitimate Pokemon that you can use online without the stupid Wonder Card Egg Power Save code that Power Save is gonna give is gonna be giving you in uh, February. Uh, and hopefully this video like well, it's like super viral or something so they could see it and they could be like Oh, this is a problem. You gotta fix it cuz you know people played for this or whatever. Okay, people paid for it even though I paid for it um, It doesn't matter, you know, okay, so what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be avoiding that That whole you know one step, you know use that wonder card You know code and then modify it and then use it. No, we're gonna be avoiding that because what what we get is this. A useless piece of shit. That should be, you know what? Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Okay, so. Right now, the code asks for, uh, pretty much the Pokedex entry for the Pokemon that you want. So, the Pokemon that I want that I that I didn't catch yet and that I've been seeing that is really, really nice and competitive right now, and that's Glissapod. So, we need Wimpod. So, Wimpod is 767. Wimpod is 767. I'm gonna bring out my trusty calculator. So, I'm gonna do... Uh, 767 minus 900, and that's gonna be minus... 133 I believe Yep We're gonna go sell it. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make this video quick and fun and easy So you guys don't have to you know spend at least an hour of you know me doing this because I procrastinate I I have ADD uh, ADHD I have all that good stuff. I'm just kidding. I don't so we have them subtract or we, <laughs> we have to sell uh, 133 of our uh, medicine slot one medicines, kind of redundant. Uh, we have to sell them, then save the game. Actually, let me let me save right here. So he just you know sits right in front of me. You know what? Let me let me save right here so there's no glitch or whatever. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're gonna be using the Wonder Card uh, code, and I know I said we're not gonna be using it or, or trying to avoid it. The reason why this this Wonder Card, um, you know, code is actually you kind of useful is for getting Pokemon that you have not caught or you know pretty much you know can't catch, you know, post. Um, post, uh, you know, Pokebank, you know? So, let's say there's a Pokemon that you couldn't catch before because you don't have a Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, you can just plug it in, like, let's say, Infernape or something. Um, then you can use the uh, Wonder Card Egg. So, now that we have used it, we're not going to be, you know, modifying it at all because it's, it's completely useless. It's only, it's only useful for one thing, and that is breeding. Yes, we're going to be going to the nursery, and we're going to be breeding it. And if it needs an egg move, we're going to be using the move modifier in the Rowlet pack codes. And we could just get them off there. Um, or if you want to do it yourself, to have a little bit of fun, you could do so. So I'll see you guys when I get the egg. Okay, so we're getting the egg right now. And it is a pain. It is a pain. I mean... Yeah, you can, you know, spend, you know, maybe a minute or two minutes, you know, trying to hatch it, you know, manually. Or you go to the power saves and do it, but you know what, just for time's sake and, you know, not going through there. We're gonna be... We're gonna be... We're gonna be doing this real quick. Because it doesn't really matter, um... If you, if you use the stupid, you know, faithful encounter code or quick egg encounter code, uh, it's just, it, 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 it's just gonna, you know, waste a lot more time. And, oh, okay, you know what? No, 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 don't, yeah, don't go into power saves or whatever. This, this is fine. This is actually fine. 
Um, just, you know, breeding or not, not breeding, just like hatching the egg. And if you don't want to waste this, this amount of time, it's been like a minute or something. I don't know why I went by this thing so long. So yeah, you don't have to do this because then we could just put Wimpod into the nursery. We have to breed again and then only one egg or you know how many eggs you want to breed. And then put in box one slot one and then modify. I can always run around circles. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there we go, we got Wimpod. We're gonna name you useless, cause you're useless. You're only good for sex. So, you know what? Good for nothing. Good for no. Good, good for no ting. <coughs> <coughs> Good for noting. Alright, so now that we uh, finished hatching the egg, we can go all the way to the nursery ladies, the wonderful nursery ladies, who don't, you know, charge you, you know, a hundred pokey for every level that you pretty much had your ditto in there for. That's why your ditto pretty much stays in there. So, I don't have anybody in here right now, so I could leave my Wimpod. Let's actually summarize this just to, you know, show you guys that it is, you know, terribly, you know, gend. There's that note that says a fateful encounter, and you don't want that. Either way, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to put this piece of crap in there. I'm going to leave it in there. Good for nothing. <laughs> Good for nothing. Okay, so we're just gonna run into a... Wow, that was quick. Alright, so you are going to want to go back into the nursery barn as fast as you can. Okay, good. Because then she's gonna hold her arm up like that again and then, you know, give you another egg and you don't want that. Or I don't want that. So let me see... So, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Oh yes, I don't know why I went into my box. Into my box when I should have went to her. Okay, we're gonna take back. Good for nothing. Five hundred. Wow, right out of my pocket. That hurts. It hurts a lot. So from from the time that I started this video, it is has been at least ten minutes. Maybe I may have speeded up a little bit, or may have cut uh, here and there. And that's okay. So we're just gonna release your bitch ass. Peace out, Girl Scout. Uh, I would erase. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. No, you know what? I'm keeping you in there because you're just useless. Okay. Um, let's hatch that egg. So yeah, this is a little bit of work, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, and. When, once I hatch this, I'm going to put in box one, slot one, and then I'm going to be modifying, you know, whatever I need to modify. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, that, that extra work, but that's fine. Just level up your Pokemon to the level that, you know, and it needs to be when it, you know, it, it's ready to evolve, and I believe Wimpod evolves at level, like, 30-something. So, yeah. If I end up getting a shiny Wimpod here, I'm going to kill myself. Because <laughs> that's just... <coughs> That's just pure RNG right there. Oh my god! No way! No way! I'm not kidding you! That's shiny! What? Uh-oh! People are gonna be thinking... I'm faking it, but I didn't! Oh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna go on with the video. Wow. I'll rename you. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? No, 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 that was completely unscripted. What? That's a legit shiny. 
That's a legit shiny. EVs are, you know, all, all there, and it's a legit shiny. What happened? Okay, uh, I don't need to put a shiny code in there anymore. <clears throat> I was gonna show you guys, you know, you can make it shiny and make it legal. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, cool. So, uh, let me level it up first. So, here I'm gonna speed it up. And I'll see you guys. You know what? I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm actually gonna, uh, well, I'm actually gonna, you know, go, I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm gonna go train it up, and then when I'm done, I'll be back right here, put it in my box, and then we'll be off. All right, so we're we're evolve we're we are evolving Wimpod. I cannot believe I got a shiny in the middle of making a Pokemon Genning video. It's it's gonna seem fake, and that's why I'm not gonna be posting it as you know legitimate or not because people are gonna be like this is fake. But I know I know you know from you know obviously being here and recording live that it's completely real. So. We got Galissapod here. No, it's first impression. Uh. <clears throat> so, give me a second here, and I'll be right back, and I'll uh, figure out a good move set for this guy, cause I don't know yet. Um, let's do the Life Orb one. Yeah, let's do the Life Orb one. So, yeah, Aqua Jet and Liquidation. With Adamant a with with. With adamant, with an adamant nature. Oh my goodness. Screw the stupid red card one. Looks stupid anyways. Let's do liquidation, because liquidation is awesome. And, it, and, and it's not an egg move or whatever. But the only egg move that we need is Aqua Jet. So, let's actually give it Sucker Punch. And then liquidation. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, so when I'm all done giving it the moves that it needs to have from uh, relearning it, I'll be putting it back in the box, and I'll see you guys on the power saves move modifier to show you guys how to get the proper egg move. Okay, before we put it in, um, just to sh just to show you guys that there, I did nothing to this Pokemon. I just hatched it, and we're gonna be testing it out first. You know, we're gonna be putting it in the battle spot. If it's legal now, then it should be legal later on. There you go. And hopefully nobody battles me. <laughs> okay, it's in the box. We just saw that it's legal. I'm gonna save it. I know this. I know this video is gonna be so long, but if you guys really want to get the Pokemon down and you know make it legal and ready to be used. As I said before, I didn't do anything to the Pokemon. It's there. It's it's legal. It, it's it's you know I I hatched it shiny. I don't know how. So yeah, here we go. All right, we are in here. I am actually gonna be popping this out. Okay, here we go. Wait, whoops. Here we go. All right. So. It doesn't have the correct nature. It doesn't have the correct IVs or EVs. So <laughs> that's a problem. And it, and it also doesn't have the the right ball that I wanted to be caught in. And I wanted it to be in a I wanted it to be in a beast ball. You know what? No, something some some in a, in a net ball. I, I I always catch my bug types in a net ball. And its nature is gonna be it's gonna be adamant. And this is also good. Having Pokemon Showdown, like right next to this, helps you out a lot. 
because then you don't make mistakes and you know putting in IVs or EVs and stuff like that um let's let's make it female because I want to name it Ashley and the reason why that is because I had Instagram open and one of my friends Ashley was like the first like picture on like my feed and then like that made me believe that she is my good luck charm for shinies so we're gonna be going here in the Pikachu uh, pack for the level experience and I do believe it's a million is it a million it is a million oh, whoa, 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 whoa. it's a million so Bop, one, one million. The shiny code does not work here on this one, okay? On this one, it, it changes your ID. It changes your ID. But, if you want to add a little bit of time to it, you go here, you go to the shiny modifier PID, which means that, you know, it, it re-rolls all the, the, um, the RNG from the Pokemon so it can match your uh, your ID or your you know your, your secret ID and stuff like that so it is your shiny but the thing that it you know it tolls on is your IVs and you can always you can always reset that and you can always um, you know make it 31 31 31 but mine already came out shiny which is pretty much the reason why I you know shiny breed my Pokemon firsthand and then edit them because that saves from you know doing all that you know you know re rewriting my IVs and stuff so we're gonna be going here I didn't I didn't do IVs did I I didn't do IVs I'm an idiot speaking of IVs so you go you go here and you do 31 IVs box one slot one on everything but I don't do that anymore because you know safety precautions so you just do this Just in case, you know, it it, uh, it doesn't, you know, make it legal or whatever. Which is a hassle. A hassle. And you don't want that to happen. Okay, G get out of my face folders. Okay, so we're going back here into the EVs. Okay. So, we want that 252 on HP. Not bad, not bad. This is not my set, by the way. It's some... Random, you know, sample set that they made on Smogon. Whatever, I'm not going to be using this Pokemon competitively because, uh, from what I'm seeing, it, 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 it's doing, it's not doing, it's not doing too well in the OU meta, so it's not going to be in there for me. So, I, I pretty much did everything. I went in here, I would, I would have changed the, the shiny, and I would have made it shiny. So, that would have, you know, modified my IVs, and I wouldn't have, I would not have done that in the same, you know, session as I'm doing all these. I, w I would do the IVs last. After I saved it, I checked it all out. I booted it back up in my game. I put it back up on power saves, and then I put in the amount of IVs that I need to. So do the IVs completely last if you're gonna do the shiny code. So yeah, I did all that, <clears throat> and I, the only thing that I didn't do yet is what I'm thinking and that is aqua chat now you see the reason why I didn't I'm not doing this right now is because I forgot which slot I put it on which slot do I need to put it on uh, I'm pretty sure I did liquidation I did that I did first impression I believe it's slot one so I'm gonna I'm gonna be you know a little bit risque here I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to slot one, and it's it's a whole list. I'm telling you, it's a whole list of egg moves and moves that you can put in the game. It's every single move. I'm telling you. So if you type in power save software, now for some reason, if you if you go in here, it says latest codes. You click on whatever game you have, Pokemon Moon or Sun or whatever. It's gonna give you the whole list. You do control F. It gives you the f the the text finder. You do Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet. Now it spots it out. So what you're gonna do here is scroll all the way down until you see something 
familiar, like Stone Edge, uh, Captivate, Stealth Rock. Now, I, I remember Stealth Rock being, like, completely down over here, so I'm just gonna scroll, scroll, scroll. I remember, I remember seeing, you know, knockoff in there. So, a, a landmark, I call them, would be Tail Glow, okay? So, I put my cursor right here. Hold up. Put my cursor right here. I'm gonna be erasing that. I'm putting tail glow. Ooh, whoops. Aha. So I'm am I'm not that far off. <coughs> I'm not that far off. So I can keep on going down here. If I see stealth rocks, I'm in the clear. So this was a really great tool for, you know, finding out where. So I so I saw hammer arm somewhere. I see tail glow right here. That's good. What? All right, that was really weird. Ah, uh, sucker punch. I'm pretty close. So if I see a okay, avalanche, I'm so close. Let me uh, go back here and put Aqua Jet. Whoa, hold up. I may or may not have missed it. I saw him. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Stealth Rocks is right here. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Stealth Rocks. Uh, Wood Hammer should be right here. And then, boom, Aqua Jet. The th this is pretty much your guide, and I know you could just you know scroll, 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 but at the same time, you're gonna be losing yourself with this huge list. So I recommend you know pinpointing where the move is, and then typing in landmark. So let's say like I was really close. Let's say I was like I was at like Leaf Storm or something, or something more above. You know, then I could you know you know take a sneak peek if I'm you know close enough you know so yeah so hopefully I did that all right so let's apply the codes and then it should be competitive ready and if it's not we could always you know fix it and if and if it's not then that would be good because you know some people might you know you know fail on their first tries and that's fine because I I know I have but yeah, that's also good so we can find out the, the solution. I'm pretty sure I did everything right. So nothing should go wrong. You know, if you if you just you know pretty much concentrate, if you pretty much, you know, you know you know, pay attention on, on on what you're doing and what you're clicking, you should be fine. You should complete you should be completely fine. <laughs> so, as you can see it's level 100. I gave it a netball. Um, 252. And the reason why I know 252 is because it has the sparklies. Sparklies being that they're maxed out. And right here, you can see those four IVs on special defense. So, yep. And then we could actually judge it. And it has outstanding potential, which means it has perfect six IVs. All right, so we could actually test it out, and here's for the moment of truth. <clears throat> you know, I'm 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 always gonna be nervous with these things, but yeah, th this should be the moment of truth, and this is the th this should be the, the the solution to you know power saves crappy you know wonder trade or not wonder trade their wonder egg card or whatever the their egg wonder card, you know, code or whatever. It's just ridiculous how they got that wrong and how, you know, some people don't want to go through this extra work. But you know what? I feel like this is a little bit more rewarding because you get the, you know, actually shiny hunt for real Pokemon. Like how I did. So there you go. You have a competitive ready 
Shiny Gullisapod. And I didn't... I, I didn't even, like, want to, you know, hatch it shiny. And I usually hatch them legitimately shiny. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down there in the comments. I'll be completely active on this video. If you do have power saves, you guys should be ready. So there it is. And to end off the video, I'm actually going to be going off and renaming it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go rename it. And then, uh, <coughs> we should be off. And that, and that should be another video. So, please leave a like. Please share. If you have any friends that are, you know, power saving and, you know, they're getting, you know, these problems with, you know, the new Wonder Card egg code. Because it's a shame that, you know, that. That, that happens, but this method should work 100% of the time. If you somehow get an error, please check Ivy's and Eevee's. And if you like, and then and if you're like me and you use Showdown, um, and you check it side by side, you know, if you check, you know, the 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 stats side by side. And they all check out, and you know it's still you know not legal. Then I recommend you know resetting stats back to zero. You know EVs and IVs. I recommend setting them, you know, back to you know the the, the zeros. So this is the last confirmation that it is illegal. So I'm gonna be showing you. <clears throat> HP is 354 on both game on, on, on both sides. Uh, HP matches at 383. Uh, defense matches at 316. Okay, special attack matches at 140. Special defense matches at 217, and speed matches at 116. So there you have it, everybody. That is a shiny, competitive, ready Galissapod. And at the cost of you just hatching the Pokemon yourself and then editing off. And editing it off power save. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, just keep gaming.